Hex Laptop builds next generation gaming laptops. Its management is worried as the production numbers are going down for the last three years. There also seems to be an issue with the quality of the laptops. Miss Sophia has been appointed as a Lean Six Sigma expert. Let's see how she used Lean Six Sigma techniques to increase production. Sophia set up a meeting with CEO Mr. Bob and MD Julian to discuss Lean methodologies. Sophia said that Lean is used to reduce waste and time in the process while Six Sigma is used to reduce variation, defects, and increase the flow of the process. Following discussion with CEO Mr. Bob and MD Julian, Sophia decided to go down for a Lean Six Sigma project to find out why the Hicks laptop manufacturing process has slowed down, how to eliminate the delay in the process, and how to fix these issues. Sophia decided to use DMAC methodology. DMAC is an abbreviation for Define, Measure, Analyze, Improve, and Control. Let's have a look at these stages individually in the Define step. Sophia collected voice of customers and defined the problem. To capture the voice of the customer, Sophia analyzed all the quality defects received in the last two years. She created a project charter. A project charter includes a high-level outline of the business case, problem statement, project goals, scope of the project, outputs, baseline metric definition, critical to quality, CTQ metrics, team members, and timelines. Next is the measure phase. Once the project team finalized the CTQs and the KPIs, it was time to start collecting data from the current process. Sophia observed that in the current scenario, 50 laptops are manufactured in a day and each laptop is outfitted with a pair of screen layers by one of the 10 machines used. Some of the metrics measured are How many laptops are produced in a day? Time taken to assemble a laptop. Once she finalized the data collection plan and collected the data, she performed a measurement system analysis which ensures that the data is both repeatable and reproducible, allowing the team to ensure that the data is worthy of analysis. Since the project team was dealing with attribute data for the pass-fail reviews where the item was either defective or not defective, the team members utilized the binomial process capability of defects analysis. In the analyze phase, Sophia and the team set out to identify areas that could have been causing process defects. To quickly do this and generate some theories, they created a fishbone diagram. On analyzing previous data, Sophia finds out that one of the machines that installed the screens was not performing properly. Production was taking longer since the laptop parts are manufactured across different locations which required transporting for assembling. A metaphorical equation is created to relate the potential causes, x, with defect, y. y equals fx1 plus fx2 plus fx3. Once the fishbone was created, the team members prioritized the potential causes, x's. Several potential correlating and causal factors were reviewed and hypotheses developed and tested. Now that they had identified some of the most likely and potential causes for the defects and had performed hypothesis tests on them, the team members understood what needed to be improved in the next phase. In the improve phase, after selection of the best solution, a new pass-fail review process was created that would address the CTQs and root causes. Once the new process was built and operational, the team performed a pilot test before a full rollout of the new application. Sophia made changes to the manufacturing process and ensured that the defects are addressed. She replaced the faulty machines that installed the defective screens with another one. This also helped to save time by attaching different parts in a sequential manner assembly so that the laptop can be moved across the assembly area faster. Finally, in the control phase, Sophia makes regular adjustments to control new processes and future performance based on the changes made. The company was able to reduce the production time by 15% and increase production by 25% with a higher quality of output. DMAC is one of the most commonly used methodologies in the world. It focuses on improving the existing products or processes of the organizations. You can be the next superstar of your company blind. Connect with our training solution expert at info at or 91 to start your journey for Lean Six Sigma.